New liquor buyback program could go a long way to helping state bars and restaurants, but there is a deadline to opt in this Friday. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu has details on who's eligible. The Michigan Liquor Control Commission started this liquor buyback program amid Governor Whitmer's extension of closures. Now a wide variety of businesses qualify. Here's who can opt in. While bars and restaurants are among those eligible to trade in their booze, licensed beverage control attorney Chris Baker says other businesses can as well. The hotel licensees, so if a hotel has a liquor license, some private golf courses, clubs such as a membership, private membership club, continuing care retirement centers, then there's watercraft and train licensees as well. But in order for inventory to make the cut, it has to be unopened and purchased before March 16th at full cost. There's a lot of trade, trust and faith going on in the state's part by simply having the licensee attest that this is unopened inventory, it's saleable inventory that's not expired. Any facility approved for the program then has 90 days after the state's emergency declaration is lifted to buy back the spirits. It's really a band-aid in, in, in some scope. Funds will be delivered to the licensees. They then will have the ability to retain those funds for their own uses for a period of 90 days from whatever that emergency, the end of the emergency declaration might be. Most shops, like liquor stores where alcohol is bought and consumed off premise, are being excluded from the buyback. I think the theory is, is that they've been open and have been operating, so they're not as, they may be feeling the pressure, the financial pressure but not to the extent as the restaurants and bars do. Leaving room for those who have been forced to close their doors to have a chance for relief. It could be a couple thousand dollars. It could be, uh, it could be much more so maybe in the six digit figure. It's completely unprecedented. Businesses who want into the buyback need to make their request by 5 p.m. this Friday. In Grand Rapids, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.